So today I went on a little adventure. I was searching Craigslist because uh, I have loved bikes since I've been a kid. And I was searching Craigslist and I came across this ad right here which really intrigued me. It was a Cannondale Super V500 and it was just so unique looking. Uh, I just wanted to find out all about it. Anyway, after going to Bicycle Blue Book and seeing that the retail price was almost $2,000 in 1997, mind you, uh, I really wanted to see what it was all about. So um, I went ahead and uh, you know did some research on it, uh, went to some forums, and just found out that they're kind of a super rare, really interesting, neat uh, old Cannondale that's uh, uh, worth quite a lot of money. Um, so uh, I reached out to the uh, person selling it, and uh, we spoke a little bit, and I ended up purchasing it for a great price. And right now, uh, you can kind of see that what I've got up on the screen is the uh, Blue Book page, and then we're going to go to some specifications here, and you can take a minute to look at that. And then we'll head outside in the garage, and I'll uh, show you what it, uh, I brought home. All right, so here we are out at the bike. Uh, this is what I brought home. It is a 1997 Cannondale Super V500. You can see I've thrown it up in my uh, bicycle stand, and it's ready to... Uh, work on it and I'm going to walk you around it and show you uh, uh, all the parts and pieces and what I think's changed. It certainly does need everything but it is a super cool unique bike. Um, I don't think I've ever seen one of these in person so I am just really excited to get started on it and do a you know pretty much a full restoration where we just kind of I mean except for paint and stuff but we we just change out everything that's bad make uh, bring it back to life and really see what it can do. So uh, without further ado let's uh, start walking around the bike and uh, Okay, so here we are up front, and you can see this has a uh, Manitou um, shock system now, uh, front fork, and this is not original. So this, um, from what I can tell, is about the only thing that's been changed. Um, you can see we have uh, Tektro V-brakes, um, and they're in pretty decent condition. Uh, they um, just need new cables and housings and everything else, but uh, and we got a little bit of rust, so we're going to take care of that and maybe put some new uh, actual brake pads on it. And back here on the uh, the rims, these are 26-inch uh, um, rims, and they, uh, uh, the tires on them are 26 by 2-inch, uh, and these are Continentals. These were actually probably pretty decent tires at one point, but this uh, has been sitting so long that they're completely dry rotted, so all these are going to have to go. The, both the front and rear do have uh, quick-release skewers, which is really nice, so, uh, uh, and they're in really good good shape. They work well, so... That is a plus, we won't have to do that. Okay, so back here at the back of the bike, this is a full suspension bike. Um, you can see right here that uh, here's the rear Tektro um, V-brakes. And this is a Fox Vanilla rear shock. Uh, and it doesn't move much. Um, it's probably got about uh, two inches of travel total. So not great, but um, for the day it was pretty amazing. Um, this seems to be in pretty decent condition. So probably just gonna be cleaning this up and, and see what it, uh, you know, how it, performs before we uh, uh, think about changing that. But all these cables, everything is just, in all the housings, it's, it's all going to go. There's, uh, there's rust and uh, they just don't work very well. Everything's spongy, so all this is going to be cut and it's all going to be replaced with new cables, new housings, uh, everything. So we're going to walk you through that process as well. Okay, so here's the saddle and the uh, seat post. I'm not sure it's stock, but I believe it is because it has the Coda 700 um, uh, logo here, it's really faded, but I can faintly see it. And uh, I think Coda, like the uh, crank arms, uh, they were done by Coda. And uh, so so the seat, what I can tell you is it looks painfully uncomfortable. Moving here to the uh, back cassette, um, this is really uh, not in good shape. So we might see if we can try to clean this up and bring it back to life. Um, but this Shimano SXT, I'm sorry, STXT railer, uh, it is completely like locked, uh, the chain shot. Um, so all this is in the chain, we're gonna just throw away anything. We're gonna break it here and, and throw it away and get a new one. But uh, we're gonna see if we can revive this. If not, we're gonna have to order uh, some new derailers. So right in here, um, the bottom bracket is a Shimano. Um, it doesn't look very good. I don't know uh, if you can see that or not in there, but probably gonna have to just uh, pull this whole thing apart, take a look at the bearings regrease everything and, and possibly get some new parts depending on how bad it is. Um, the rear suspension part here, the bushings, I don't really see anything uh, uh, bad, so I think we can get away with keeping that. But but this rear, uh, this this bottom bracket, we're just going to have to see. Here are Shimano Acera, and they are um, 
uh, they look pretty decent. They run, they, they roll smoothly. Um, so I don't think we'll have to do much to that except just clean them up and hopefully keep them. But right, we'll kind of finish off here with the uh, Shimano STX uh, front derailleur as well. It moves, um, so I think that can be cleaned up, but I'd like to get a matching set. So we'll, we'll have to see how that uh, rear derailleur comes out. All right, so that's the walk around of uh, my newly acquired Super V500 Cannondale. And uh, really what we're gonna do uh, now is just, uh, I'm gonna go in and order a bunch of parts for the next video. So I'll get those on order and uh, really just go around and clean it. Just try to clean the years of uh, just storage gunk off. I actually saw actually some, some mud in the uh, uh, back of the uh, uh, bottom bracket, uh, which, you know, who knows, is probably 10, 15 years old, which is pretty crazy. Uh, so anyway, we'll clean this up and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you want to follow it. If so, uh, you know, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss it. And uh, the next video will hopefully be uh, a little bit farther along and putting this thing back to its former glory. Take care. Thanks for watching. <laughs>